Players from out of state come all the way over here to press their limits. It is our annual test of endurance. It's the RSHL Ironman Tournament. Welcome to the RSHL, Daniel Wilson here. So here we are once again, our annual tournament where everyone will test their endurance. So let's get to the rules of the game. It will be 12 minute periods, one period only. And it is five on five, no substitutions. There are no offsides for this tournament, so the players can go anywhere they want, whenever they want. All stoppages will include a three second countdown. Once that countdown is over, it is free game for anyone to play. Icing will be in effect for this tournament, which will be at the top of the face-off circle. That will be our reference for icing. And any goals or penalty shot attempts, the defending team will start with the ball in their own corner. And all penalties become penalty shots. So discipline is a must for this tournament. And we usually have the highest sticking rule for the shoulder during our league games, but for this tournament it will be the crossbar. Now, if there is an overtime period, it, it will be five minutes. If no winner is determined, we will go to the shootout. So, those are pretty much the rules for the tournament. We have three divisions for this tournament. It is gonna be A division, which will have four teams. B division has six teams, which includes teams from our friends at the uh, SSHL at Virginia and the uh, Charlotte uh, Hockey League over in, of course, Charlotte. And in the C division, we also have six teams, including our Charlotte team. And we also have a team all the way from Connecticut. So that will be exciting to watch. So let's get straight to the action. Let's get it started with this year's Iron Man Tournament. Ready for the C Division game, and this is our first wild card, the number four and five seeds. It is the Knights against Dump in the corner, <laughs> which mainly consists of the Labat Blues and MVD taken down early, and it is going to be a penalty shot coming up for Kevin Dars. But first, they have possession, shot, and oh boy. A man is down. So a penalty shot is coming up and already Josh Waters is down. Now, Dump in the Corner has already got some injury issues. Cody Hug took a slap shot to the ankle uh, in an earlier game in round robin. <laughs> They're laughing it off right now because this, this is the... There's been so many injuries in this C division, and I'll explain that a little later, but right now, Kevin Darst has a chance to get an early lead. Shot, he scores! A successful penalty shot, and Dump in the corner has an early one to nothing lead. And by the way, Josh Waters looks like he's okay after taking that shot. But Cody Hug, like I said earlier, took a slap shot to the ankle. He had to leave the game early. He left for five minutes and came back to finish the rest of the game. As Hickerson will play around the boards, Kevin Darcy will pick it up for a dump in the corner. And there was another injury to another team, uh, which would be Plainsville Arenas, which when we get to that game, I'll explain that injury. But for now, here's a shot that is blocked and that hits the safety netting still in play. Trying to clear out, it'll be Darst again, along with Coscarelli and Waters. Taking a bump from the number 86, Jesse Hickerson. Hickerson back the other way along with the fan. Tries a shot, that's a save, and it will be covered up by Steve Galapo. And behind the net, taking a look. Galapo trying to sweep it away. But it's McMahon with a backhand, and that's wide. And the Knights will pick it up one more time. 
but it'll be intercepted and back the other way they go. Michael Kane was trying to clear it out. Usually with the Zombies, which his team suffered a loss last week to MBD, but he's ended up joining up with his rival team and a big bump. No call this time. And uh, Kevin Dars apologizing for the big hit. Back the other way we go. Des Bailey directing traffic and now decides to go to Sean Mitten. He'll play around the boards over to McMahon. McMahon on the bottom of the circle. Stick lifted by Coscarelli. And, and Hickerson manages to prevent a breakaway chance. Up in the air, McMahon in the corner taking a little shove from Cody Hug. The guy that suffered the ankle injury in, the, in one of the earlier games. Shot going wide. I mean, he seems to be okay now because uh, he was limping around um, in the end of game two in round robin. You see, he's gotten progressively better. Shot uh, didn't get all that goes up and over the net. And a round will go to Lyle Blue. Tries a double round and it hit Parlanti, our official. Centers up, went off of something. Dennis Bailey. Or Bailey Dennis. I keep mixing up those two, those two names. Darst will drop it back to Coscarelli. To the circle, try to set up for Darst off a of foot that went all the way back to Michael Kane to Cody Hug. Looking at a double team, keeps it alive. Darst with a shot, save! It's in! Monroe had it! And he fell back into the net! So Darst will end up getting goal number two. And here we go back the other way. Taking a look, crossing over to McMahon. Passes, tipped, and it's underneath Galapo, and he still has it. Countdown going, tries to up, missed on the pass, and here they come the other way, Darst and Coscarelli. Darst, taking a look, Waters joins the play, goes to the outside route, shot, score! And it only took five minutes, 20 seconds to complete the hat trick. How do you like that shot saved by Galapo as he collapses? It's still loose though, and Galapo trying to look for it and he covers. It kind of makes you wonder how Street Force in the B division is, is not getting goals like that. Yeah, here's Darst looking for Coscarelli on a breakaway. Backhand saved by McGrow. Second chance by Waters has another save. Dump in the corner, dominating right now. Halfway through the game, 3 0. All three goals coming from Kevin Darst. As Bailey Dennis just protecting the ball in the corner. I think Michael Kane's just standing there. As Coscarelli will walk it up and will just dump it to the opposite corner and Jesse Hickerson will pick it up for the Knights. And they know that they have to get going. Stretch past to McMahon on the left boards. To walk on up and that is safe. Another chance covered up by Galapo. And it looked like Michael Kane just left him open. Didn't even challenge him. And Mitten is going to go around over to McMahon. Centers up, blocked by Darst. As a bump on the point, Joshua Waters tying him up. Back around over to McMahon. Tries to up off the stick of Galapo. Backhanded up by Cody Hug and will be out of the zone. Remember, there is no offsides in this tournament, so they can be wherever they want. Sean Mitten will trot it down. I'll take a look with a four and a half remaining in this game. The winner moves on 
to face the number two seed. And Hickerson trying to look for a tip and unavailable. Michael Kane playing around, but it'll be back to Lyle Blue. Back to the point, winds up, Mitten tried to slap pass, intercepted by Hug. Tried to clear, unable. Mitten back down again, McMahon in the left corner. Michael Kane moving in on defense, back to ba ba Bailey Dennis. Behind the net, tries to look for a tip in front, un unable to find anyone. It'll be Mitten one more time, back at the point. Cross it to Hickerson. Slap shot, trying to look for a tip, second chance going wide. And Kane moving it around the boards. Nice. Had a lot of possession time as of recent, but still have yet to get between the pipes. And up in the air it goes, they score! That's either going to go to Dennis or McMahon. We'll find out what the official call is. But Dub in the corner still has a two goal lead as Coscarelli trying to drive it, but it's going to go back to McMahon. Coscarelli trying to delay the attack. Back to Lyle Blue on the left side. Holds up, tries a shot, wide. Blue will pick it up one more time. A lot of great jerseys around. Josh Waters back the other way. It will just dump it out. Hickerson will chase it down, less than three remaining in the game. Hickerson will try to stretch it up, intercepted by Mitten. He'll play it up to Lal Blue. Has two men as an option. That pass was blocked by Darce. Backhanded up by Cody Hug. Mitten trying to keep the play alive. Took a couple of a couple of slashes. Crosses nobody there. Coscarelli will get an easy pickup. Take a look, and he'll circle back. I think he's trying to kill the clock. As the Knights were assuming that they were going to attack. Blue one more time. Shot going wide. Dennis. Tried to set her up, unable, intercepted by Kane, and it'll roll into the glove of Galapo. With two minutes remaining. And tried to pass it to the slot, knocked right back, Lyle Blue. Back to Mitten, shot, it got tipped. Centers up, hits Galapo, wide of the net. Back to Hickerson. Wrist shot, went off the stick of Coscarelli. McMahon in the corner. That pass blocked by Coscarelli. Back to Coscarelli, he clears it out with 90 seconds remaining in this game. Dump in the corner currently has a two goal lead. Still possible to come back, but they have got to push it. Uh, that's not the way to do it. They give it away to Joshua Waters. The crossover to Coscarelli. It's been a while since they've had an attack, but right now it looks like their focus is to kill the clock. McMahon back the other way. Looking at Kevin Darst, Cody Hug on the other end on defense. Back to Blue, shot wide of the net. Open chance and interrupted by Darst. Tries to dump around. Bailey Dennis at the circle, shot saved by Galapa. Rebound, he scores! And with 45 seconds remaining, this isn't over yet and they are gonna dump it down and icing. I don't know that was the right move for Cody Hug, because that gives the nice possession. Uh, they may be wasting time though. They gotta get straight to the line. 25 seconds remain. Hickerson walks up, shot blocked by Kevin Darst. He may be looking at a breakaway. 15 seconds remaining. But right now, you may want to focus on killing the clock. Holding on, backhand glove save by Legro. Well, the Knights have had a lot of possession time, but they are going to fall short here. Dump in the corner. We'll move on to the next round. So they advance as the number five seed. These teams were tied in the, in the round robin. It came down to a coin flip. But it looks like up in the corner just outshot the opposition. We'll be back with our second wild card.
Wild card number two underway. Border Patrol against our Virginia team. Plainsville Arenas. Oh, and, Connecticut. Or oh, Con Daniel. Connecticut, pardon me. I know that, that, that we had a Virginia team and I forgot that they had already they played. Firebirds. Yeah, the Charlotte team is the Firebirds, which they have got the second seed, so we'll see them a little later. But this is the Connecticut team, Plainsville Arenas, which is actually being led by Evan Mandel. See, he thought, why not bring some New England players down as that one is saved. And Barat Modi will play around the boards and misses his man. Went off of Mandel, still holding on to the ball, will take it behind the net. Tries to play it back over to Modi. And back to the point, almost missed him and it'll go all the way back to the line. This is everybody one more time. Still holding on, centers up, blocked by Mandel. And Mel Lewis attempting to clear. And here's Herget. Shot saved by Gilliland. And uh, by the way, this was the team that had the other injury I had mentioned earlier. And they have Mel Lewis as a substitution on defense because of a serious injury to Joey Delgado, and as that was saved by uh, Stan Gill, and he he took a shot to the face, which injured his eye. And Deloitte is tripped, and he is going to get a penalty shot. So Delgado had a. Um, Slap shot straight to the face and it's swollen his eye shut so so he has left the tournament and Mel Lewis has taken his place. So but we do wish him uh, well. But right now it is going to be Brian Delude with the penalty shot up against Stan Gillen. And trying to deke around, but Gillen has to stick out and prevents prevents the uh, breakage of the scoreless game. Down to Barat Modi, poke tech by ML Lewis. Back to Modi. Modi at the right circle. And shot saved by Matt Herget. Back at the point, knocked away, and here comes Herget back the other way. Shot saved by Golan. And back the other way they go. It looks like Ziggler, shot goes wide of the net. He'll play off the boards. And over to Herget, he'll play upwards. Going back and forth, back to Herget. Tries a return, that's blocked. Behind the net, he'll try again. Stick kept down. And Gambino back the other way. And a good four check. And they'll have a chance here. Border Patrol with a shot. Toe save. Rebound still loose. It's laying out there. Mel Lewis trying to clear it out. He does. Border Patrol now have a chance here. Shot saved by Matt Herget. Three, two, one. And try to tip him and couldn't find any available. And it will go behind the net. And now it took a weird bounce off the uh, off the boards. Rod Modi, back to the corner. That's the face Mandel, tried to set her up, couldn't find anybody. Now Lewis takes a bump from Ziggler. And back the other way, uh, pardon me, that was, um, I believe that was Beasley actually. Without any numbers, it's kind of hard to tell. Shot and a save by Golan. Centers up for her, for Herget. Another shot going high, and they attempt to clear. They do. Gambino will send it across over to Mendel. Tries to beat it up, and it will be back over to Border Patrol. Modi around Mendel. Back and forth. Modi one more time. Centers up. Shot saved, and it will be gloved into the corner. Halfway. 
we're almost halfway through the through the game. It is going to be back over to to the point knocked out by Modi. Back and forth between him and they score! It looks like it's going to be Barack Modi with a goal. Continues to be a dominant score. Here's a shot from Hergit and a sick save by Gilliland. Tries to clear, and it's blocked by Jeff Hergit. Airing it out, and it will be back to the Border Patrol. Bodie along with Hunsinger. And I believe that is, um, I believe that is um, Ziggler. Still so can't tell the difference between the two. Here's a shot, and that's blocked by Mendel. Modi one more time. At least Modi is the easiest one to tell. <laughs> They'll dig it out behind the nest. Trill's trying to look for it. Pops out. We'll go back to the point. Back to Modi, and tangled up with Lewis. We'll be sent up to Jeff Hergett. One-on-one, -on -one, and that shot going wide. We'll take a little shove from Weaver. Centers up, int intended for Delude. Centers one more time. Gambino with a shot, that's wide. Gillen lost sight of it, it's loose. Still loose, he scores! Gillen had lost sight of it for a moment, and Jeff Hergett will uh, take advantage of it. Back down to Mandel. We'll oh, try to cross over to Lewis, missed him. Back to Baran Modi. Modi going in close. Shot saved by Matt Hergit. Modi will loft it over. Loft down and will tip it in, but saved by Hergit. Back at the point, taking a little look, and now we'll give a return. Mandel walking in, tries to center, finds a man, pops out, and it's going to be Beasley to walk this one down. Beasley will walk it up, intercepted by Delude. Maybe a chance for Hergit. Took a shove and has, has to hop over Stan Gilliland. As they bowed for it on the board, as Jeff Hergett. Let's try to see who the other one was. It's going to be Gambino. Back for Border Patrol. Lines up, shot going wide of the net. With 3.45 remaining in this game, still a one, one all tie. Modi again will be intercepted by Gambino. A play up to Delude. Managed to escape but lost control of the ball. It'll be back up. Intended for Hunsinger. It will be back to Mandel. Around the boards, it'll be over to Mel Lewis. Go, go. Mel Lewis holding on and will play it back. Oh, went off the side of the net. Shot and a save by Hergit. Just bailed him out. That was quite an error. Three minutes remaining in the game. Is Beasley plays up, intercepted by Gambino. Over to Jeff Hergit, intercepted. Back the other way. Low roller trying to tip, is shoved away. Still trying to look for a shot, and that is covered up by Matt Hergit. And we'll try to cross over to Modi. Right circle. Shot wide of the net. Got tangled up. Back over to Beasley. Knocked away. Hergit will give a return over to Deleuze. Shot going towards Gillen as a stick went flying and he'll cover up. With 2.15 remaining in regulation. Jeff Hergit will take control. Here's the call from Mandel and that's blocked. Mandel trying to get control. He is shoved. No call. 
Bodie, back the other way. Bodie, trying to protect the ball. Now we'll reverse, reverses again, tries shot, it's tipped away. To the corner to Hunsinger. Centers up, couldn't find his man, back to Beasley. And DeLune took his stick a little high, but I don't think it was intended to play, so the hand stayed down. As Lewis attempts to clear, goes up to DeLune. And Jeff Herget trying to go for a quick attack, shot going wide. Delude. Looking at a four check from Beasley. Back check, rather. A sweep check disrupts the play. Delude trying to look for someone, can't find any, and it's back to Modi. And we'll send it deep. It looks like Ryan Weaver he was looking for, and it's going to go back over to Modi. And I just noticed that there's only one defender down deep for for Plainsville, and that's going to be knocked away. Risky play. Mandel trying to go deep. It's Beasley. He'll send it down. It's over to Weaver. Shot that's blocked. It'll go to Hunsinger in the corner. 40 seconds remaining. They'll play it back to Weaver. They get interrupted by Lewis. And back at the point, they get a check from Herget. And around, back it goes to Beasley. Tries to send it up, unable. Mandel is knocked down by Herget. It's staying down below the crossbar. They'll loft it over, over to Weaver. That's backhanded and it's blocked. Jeff Herget may be looking for a quick attack. He has to hurry with six seconds remaining. And he lost control, so it looks like we are going to go to overtime. Yeah. No time, no time to get a shot off, so it's gonna be a five minute overtime. And back underway we go, Modi with control for Border Patrol. And I'll try a loft it intended for Weaver, intercepted by Lewis. Trying to get to Herget, unable. Back the other way. Weaver along with Mel Lewis. Lewis. And he'll play upwards over to Herget. Set us up, maybe a chance for a delude. Shot saved by Gilliland. Delude had a chance on a partial breakaway. And back it goes over to Mandel. Mandel. Having trouble controlling it. Has to get away from Weaver. Now it gets it away over to Phil Gambino. He has to get away to Baron Modi at center. Up to Weaver. We'll cross over to Hunsinger at the point. Tries a wrist shot wide the net and covered up by Matt Hergant. And that tip. Number six seed has just upset the number three seed. <laughs> Unbelievable. Baron Modi consoling the opposition as they will move on, but they will have to face the number one seed. We'll be back with our first semifinal. Our first semifinal game is actually the uh, number five seed going up against the number one seed, Jesters. One of our Charlotte teams. That's one thing I forgot to mention. There's actually two Charlotte teams. This is one of them, the Jesters. They have claimed the top two seeds, so this will be a difficult hill to climb for our only RSHL affiliated team in the C Division. Border Patrol. Uh, oh, Border Patrol, pardon me. I keep forgetting that Border Patrol is in this. Oh, it's been a long day. Here's a shot glove save. Still loose and it will be back over to Kevin Darst. 
trying to look for a way around. It's going to be back over to Cody Hug. He'll take his time with a man trotting in. And now I'll try to cross over, finds Coscarelli. And try to set her up. Can't get it through, but get some help from Mike Kane. Shot, and that's a save, but it's loose. Going down is Waters. Save coming from Robert Gleason. And that is blocked by Cody Hug. He's been being up enough today. Centers up shot, and that is tipped wide. Darts back the other way. Backhanded, it is blocked. And the Jesters one more time back the other way. Waiting, it takes a shot, that goes wide. Cody Hug for the dump in the corner. Hug will try to take it himself. Backhands it towards Waters, and that is gloved down by Gleason. And it is back in the same by Gleason. It's in. Joshua Waters! It looked like Gleason had it, but it had enough momentum to take it across. And Tub in the corner have a 1 0 lead. To the opposite corner. Center's up, saved. Galapo is doing a great job this tournament. And it will be Waters back the other way. Has the only goal of the game so far. Over to Kevin Darce, who had the hat trick in the wild card game. Back to Coscarelli. We're going to the corner with Rothis. Back to Kane. Kane with a shot way wide of the net. Back over to Kevin Darce. We'll play back to Cody Hug. But look down, man moving in. Does get away. And it's going to go for a stretch pass. Maybe a little too far. Had a chance on a breakaway because he was left wide open. But it may not matter. He scores! He got a little overexcited. He kept playing even after the ball went in. So it is Brent Chaplin with the goal, and we're back to a tie game. Coscarelli almost left the ball behind us, gets it over to Waters. On the boards, Coscarelli trying to feed it up, trying to find Darce. Centered up, nobody available. Hug moves in, off the boards, back over to Coscarelli. Holding it up on the left boards, trying to shake him off, tries to go to Darst. Shot that is saved by Gleason. Off a couple of feet, Coscarelli retains control. Back over to Dars. Back to Hug. Wrist shot wide of the net. Michael Kane taking a look, and it will be poked away by Rothis. Slap shot from Coscarelli. That goes high. Dars gave it up. Back the other way. Chaplin trying to get another. Trying to set her up, but blocked by Hug. And that was actually a critical play because that was a man wide open. Try to set her up, that's blocked. Hug back the other way, still at a tie game, one all, as we approach seven and a half remaining. Coscarelli centers over to Darce, missed the pass. He has to hurry back. He'll send it over. Chaplin with a shot, high and wide. And cleared out by Darce, but it misses everybody, and it's an icing. So the adjusters will have automatic control. Chaplin will decide to take a long shot, and a bouncer saved by Galapo. Kane plays off the boards to Coscarelli. Coscarelli will move it up. Along with Darce and Waters. Tried to go up to Darce, that was blocked, does break through, does get to Waters, backhand, that is knocked away. And Roth is trying to clear, but it'll go back to Michael Kane. 
trying to cut it off. Cody Hug keeps it in play. Waters backhands it. Bouncer is driven away by Gleason. Into the corner. And back the other way to come the Jesters. Looking at Michael Kane, tries to set her up intended for Chaplin. Chaplin will go across the circle, shots! He scores! Back the other way, oh, turnover, back the other way, two on two. Shot, save by Galapo. Into the corner. Taking a look, tries to set her up, finds his man, shot wide. Coscarelli goes back to Waters, trying to tip it, unable to find a man. Shot saved by Gleason, still loose. Coscarelli crosses the dart, shot is blocked by Chaplin. We'll cross it. Oh, they go one more time back to Chaplin. Blocked by Hug. Goes right back to him. Looks at a wall, shot going wide of the net, and they're gonna let him play it. Behind the net, blocked by Coscarelli. One more time behind the net, tried to feed up, nobody available. Back over to Joshua Waters. Less than five remaining in the game. Crosses to Darst. Try to return. Intercepted by Rothis. And Chaplin trying to get another attack going. Plays all the boards. Blocked by Cody Hug. Oh, cross it over to Coscarelli. Coscarelli holding. Now crosses one more time. Here's a shot and a save by Gleason. In the corner, Coscarelli trying to escape. But he'll be knocked off the ball and the Jesters one more time back on the attack or cross Chaplin. At the top of the circle, shot! That is knocked away. Darst with 4-10 remaining. They still need one more. Try to go to Waters and that was intercepted. Back over to Chaplin. Centers one more time. Nobody, nobody covering him. Shot, and it is blocked. Had plenty of space and it ended up shooting out the wall. And tries one more time. That is saved by Galapo and an, another drop off. And behind the boards for Maelstrom, and that is covered up by Galapo with three and a half remaining. And back over to Chaplin. Setters up. That's why. Dars got to get on the attack. Joshua Waters trying to clear up. Knocked down by Rothis. Back down to the corner. Mike Kane taking a look. We'll play off the boards over to Coscarelli. Trying to avoid, Mal avoid Maelstrom. And it's Coscarelli again. Back to Cody Hug. Chaplin moving in. As Snapshot is going to be blocked by Rothis. And back the other way they go. Joe Rose, he scores! Joe Rose with the goal! And a 3-1 lead for the Jesters with two and a half remaining. And it'll be Azali. Over to Chaplin, looking at a three on two. Centers over to, Ro to Rose. Shot, save, rebound, and that's covered. And Galapa not wasting any time. Maelstrom will take the drop off. Went off the back of the net. Maelstrom will recover it. Trying to look for a way around. Again, pestered by Coscarelli. It's stuck on the back of the net, and it's going to stay with the Jesters. Oh no, it's gonna to go to um, it's gonna to go to dump in the corner and Cody Hug is gonna take it all by himself. Trying to avoid Azali. 
Azali will take a shove from Hug, trying to protect the ball and kill some time. Up in the air it goes. Hug tries to glove it down, taking a bump from Chaplin. Plays up, intended for Joe Rose. And it'll be Mike Kane with 120 remaining in the game. Up to Kevin Darst. Holding it up. They're gonna have to try to work something out here. Not much time remaining in the game. Hug tries to set her up off of Azali. Back the other way over to Chaplin. Two on one the other way along with Rose facing Michael Kane. Shot off the outside of the net. Chaplin sees Malstrom. Goes back to him. Shot saved by Galapo. Has to get away. Glove down by Malstrom. One more time. Up in the air. It is wide. Mike Kane off the boards over to Darce. 40 seconds remaining in the game. We'll get in after office. We'll take to the outside. Setters up and couldn't find any available tip. Goes behind the net. Bumped by Darce and it will go back over to Ryan Coscarelli. Setters one time, he scores! They're gonna have to hurry, not much time remaining. 17 seconds left, they gotta hurry. They can't waste time here. Off the boards. Warriors trying to keep their hopes alive, but it's going to be fading away. Waters, shot wide, more time, it's goals! Oh no, they waved it off! Oh no, they waved it off! Oh no! Oh no! What a heartbreaker! I want to see the replay on that. Oh my goodness, that was so close. Oh, what a heartbreaker. Oh. You've got the feel for these guys. They were so, so close. But it's going to be the Jesters moving on to the final round. Wow. We have got to take a look at that shot again. There was... I thought that went in before the buzzer. But it's the ref's call. That is just unfortunate. So we'll be back with our second semifinal. Our second semifinal, number six seed Border Patrol against number two seed Firebirds. <laughs> Still, you gotta get out of the way there, buddy. He's already wanting to get into the action. He's not even part of the game. Here's Modi for Border Patrol. Across to Weaver. Shot! Score! Border Patrol with an early goal. Could this be? Well, it's only 30 seconds in, so it's still early. Around they go, and it's gonna be Moody. Taking a shove. Shot, wide the net, rebound, off the outside. Behind the net, trying to set her up, knocked away by Stan Golan. A wrist shot was easily saved, and Golan is just gonna hold on. And behind the net, holding it on, tries to go back over to Ryan Weaver, trying to dodge around into the corner. To the opposite corner, Ryan Weaver still trying to hold on. Firebirds. One more time with possession. We'll try to go down deep. Maybe a chance. Bouncer. It stays out. And where is it? No goal. That was a close call for Stan Golan. And that's bumped by Modi. And out it goes. Firebirds have to reset. 
Will play down deep one more time. Shot. Oh, chance down. Point blank. He scores! Back to a tie game we go. I don't know. Back the other way. Yeah. It's going to be back over to Border Patrol over for Ryan Weaver. Setters up for Modi, unable to handle the pass. And getting double teamed, trying to fight it away, but it's going to be pinned up. Firebirds, one more time with control. Now they, they come back the other way. Dodges around. Holds on a bit. Now we'll go behind the line. Back out it goes to Weaver. Left corner. Try to set her up. No one available. Firebirds one more time. We'll take a shove from Beasley. He'll escape. Shot saved by Gillen. And we're going to have a penalty shot. The hand went up. It is going to be James Todd with the penalty shot up against Dan Gillen. Gillen coming way out of his net, and it's going to be an easy goal for Todd. That play backfired. Gillen decided to go way out of his net, and it backfires. Four, 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 four. And going for Todd, that is not going to happen. Back down deep. Intercepted, back the other way. Looking at Hunsinger. And just escapes. Now looking at Beasley. Centers, nobody available. In the corner, and both of them slide into the corner. That was an accidental, that was accidental contact. Beasley one more time down the floor, and stopped by Diaz. And he'll drop it off. But he has to look out. Weaver moving in. Glove down. As, whoa, look out, Todd goes flying. As Beasley making some heavy contact. Setters up for Todd. Look at adult team. That one high. Into the corner again. Setters up. That is spotted away by Golan. Walking up, and some contact by the net. A man going down, that was Weaver, but here's Modi the other way. And he'll be tipped away by Ziegler into the corner. Swatted, tied up, available ball, that is saved by Gillen. A lot of contact being made in this game. And now Firebird's moving in. Goes right, and that one will hit the ceiling, and the whistle didn't blow. I was sure that it hit the ceiling, but they're going to continue play. Is Modi over to Weaver? Yes, yeah, saved by Diaz. And Border Patrol, as I said, as I was corrected earlier, Border Patrol now the only RSHL team remaining in the C Division. We already have one Charlotte team in the final. It's going to be Beasley unable to get around Todd, and now he's going to drive into the boards. Try to center up, nobody available into the opposite corner. Now we'll dump it around. Taking a look as Todd. Off the side of the net, cleared out by Beasley. Firebirds taking their time, and now we'll go point. We'll cross. Slap shot, low roller, and that's blocked by Weaver. Back the other way along with Modi. Weaver will go left over to Modi. Taking a look, has Hunsinger available, but decides to hold on and goes to the left board into the corner. Taking a poke check, loses control. He wanted a call, he will not get any, but what he will get is an icing. And it's 
going to be Border Patrol ball, and it's going to be Weaver. And wow, bad pass, and it's going to be back the other way for Firebirds. It will go into the opposite corner. And taking a look. Moving out to Barad Modi. Has to shake off one man. Backtracks. Still trying to hold on. Does hold on, but poke check from Thomas Pizzo. Modi tried to break through. Intercepted by Todd. Two on two the other way. Shot. That goes a little wide coming from Todd. And here they come. On the other side is Ziegler trying to find a man, unable to find anybody. And wow, Gillen wasn't expecting that to come to him and he'll slot it to the corner. And another shot, a blocker saved by Gillen behind the net. Across, centers up to Todd. Rushing in was Hunsinger, that's blocked. And Beasley, oh, was that high? And that is going to be a high stick, I believe. Yep, it is going to be a high stick, so a free shot for Border Patrol. But who is going to take the penalty shot? Right now, Barad Modi is at center. And he would be the best man for Border Patrol. Or, uh, yeah, that's why I thought. It's going to be a penalty shot. Barad Modi to tie the game with three minutes remaining. One-on-one -on -one with Diaz, shot off the post! So close, Moran Modi, can't believe that didn't go in. And Pizzo will start with control. But moving in was Ziegler, or that was Beasley. And it's gonna to be Todd the other way for Firebirds. Walk it up one more time. But it will be back over to Pizzo. And a low roller saved by Gillen. It'll be back the other way over to Hunsinger. Taking a look, it'll be intercepted by Todd. Pizzo will drop it off with about two minutes remaining in this semifinal. Crosses. Shot way wide of the net. We'll play off the backboards. And we'll go over to Barad Modi. They got to get one goal within the next few minutes. Modi manages to retain possession, looking at a double team, triple team, and back the other way they go. And Gillen trying to give some instructions, but it's going to lead to a two on one, and a save by Gillen! And Gillen trying to push his team. It's going to be Modi up close and an open chance. That is not going to happen for Weaver. Back down and stick lifted. Trying to hold on. And now physical battle in front of the, of the circle. And now they finally get rid of it. Baron Modi with control as we approach one minute remaining in the game. Pizzo. We'll take a look. And we'll do a pass over outside the slot. Nobody covering. And that was a knuckleball. And that will be saved by Gillen. They got to get moving with 50 seconds remaining. And now the countdown has started. Now they start to move. Rebound. Covered by Gillen. 35 seconds remaining. Back behind the net. This is everybody, but it'll stay with the Firebirds. Behind the net, centers. Can't find him, it'll be Weaver. And back it goes to the Firebirds. 13 seconds remaining. They just have to kill the remainder of the clock. Trying to push it. Stick lifted for Ron Modi. He's got to hurry, but it's gonna go to Pizzo. And that's going to do it. The Border Patrol are out of the tournament. And oh, trouble, Pizzo and Modi. And we have trouble by the boards. And now, oh boy. Everybody trying to calm down. Oh boy, that is not the way you wanted to end the game. 
but the Firebirds will move on. And they are just gonna walk off the floor. Wow, a fiery end to this semifinal, but Firebirds will be moving on to face the Jesters. Charlotte versus Charlotte. We'll be back with our final. Our C Division final is ready, and it is the remaining Charlotte teams. So we're getting ourselves a bit of uh, Charlotte hockey here in Raleigh. We'll see how that turns out. Bliss. We'll go over to Burke, the Birchner. And back over goes over to Thomas Pizzo. He'll play around the boards back over to Bliss. Bliss along with Rothis. We'll play around the boards over to the Colts team. Back out to Pizzo at the, behind the line. Back to Bliss at the right boards. We'll play around. We'll be taken out by Azali. Intended that one for Ryan Bergner. Or that was Todd, rather. With these all Charlotte players, I'm still learning their names, but it's going to be Todd crossing the Bliss. And intended that one for Bergner, but intercepted by Brent Chaplin. And just misses one man. Just get it to Chaplin. All it's going to be, well, the stick was swatted out of Malstrom's hands, but back the other way for Chaplin. Uh, no, that is uh, Joe Rose, rather, and a save made by Diaz. And Bliss back the other way. Now looking at Chaplin, and we'll go to the corner. As Alan Azali will play it back over to uh, Brent Chaplin, and it will be over to Connor Malstrom. Back outside the circle, intercepted by Todd. Tries a shot that is outside the, the net. Bliss back to Todd. Deeks around, centers, nobody available. David Bliss, centers, try to get to his man. And back over to Todd with a shot. That is wide the net. Everybody digging in. And it looks like it's going to be Robert Gleason with a save. And they're going to give possession to the Jesters. And it's something that they needed. That was possession time. Malstrom centers intended to go back to Malstrom back the other way they go Mark Kaltschein will go wide of the net Gleason will slot away Brandon Rothis will play that one intended for Malstrom intercepted by Todd and a shot saved by Gleason Bliss back behind the net intended that for Kaltschein Bergner on the boards. Tried again, blocked by Malstrom. Back to Chaplin. Yes, get it out of the zone. Kept in by Pizzo. No, no, no. And I heard the call that to not pass to him, but he does anyway, but finds a man. Behind the net is David Bliss. And back over to Chaplin. Trying to clear out, hit the safety netting. Kept in play, Pizzo at the point. Shot from the line via the net. And moving in. Brandon Rothis back at the point. Bliss with a shot, tipped and saved by Gleason. I don't know. It's going to be in the corner. Trying to look for a tip, none available. Back to David Bliss on the top of the circle. Looking at Rothis. Tries to center up, knocked back by Azali. Malstrom. We'll cross. Brent Chaplin. Still no score in this game. Shot wide the net. Back to Malstrom. Being knocked off by Pizzo. Back the other way. And joining in, David Bliss. As Pizzo will backtrack, we'll cross over to Kolchny. Kolchny with a shot is wide the net. Bliss centers up and jogging around. That would have been a chance for Brian Bergner. 
And David Bliss gives a shove over to Malstrom in the corner. Bergner tried to center, no one available. Back the other way. Joe Rose trying to push it across. It's been Firebirds all this game. They have just about had possession for almost all the game. As Azali trying to look for some help. Unable to find anybody. Here's a shot. He scores! James Todd will finally break the, the scoreless game. And intercepted. Bergner and deep topped the ball. And it will be Kaplan back the other way over to Maelstrom. Maelstrom looking at David Bliss. Holds up on, on the attack and now it's pinned. It will get rid of it and now over to Brent Chaplin. Trying to get around Pizzo, unable, and it's back to Maelstrom. But he'll turn it over over to David Bliss. We'll cross over to Brian Bergner. Bergner will hold it up. And that will pass upwards to Kolschny. Right to Bliss at the circle. Shot save by Gleason. As Rolfus attempts a clear, does, but they give it away again. Centers, and that is wide in the net. Kolschny holding up. Get, looking at a double team, we'll give it over to Bliss. Back to Bergner. A lot of possession time for the Firebirds. Back to Pizzo. Pizzo holding up on a shot, now takes it. He scores! Thomas Pizzo from the line! And the other way they go. It's been all Firebirds this game. Trying to set her up blocked by Pizzo. Azali trying to look for a chance, none available. Here's Bliss and Kolschny the other way. Looking at Rothis. Rothis with a good block, but they give it away again. Kolschny centers up, nobody available. Malstrom the other way. A lot of possession time for the Firebirds. Yeah, so far, I think there's been only one shot and make that two on Diaz. As Pizzo attempts a clear, runs into traffic, he'll get rid of it over to James Todd. We'll cross over to Bliss, along with Kolchny. Looking at one, we'll play it off the boards and over to Kolchny. We'll play back to David Bliss at the circle. We'll hold up. Tries to pass over to Pizzo. He may have a chance here. Deeks around at the slot. Getting double teamed. Taken away by, by Rolfes. Having a little trouble getting it out. And now he finally will. He'll be chased down by James Todd. Todd will take it behind his own net. Reverses. And now he'll start his attack. Back over to Bergner. And was that high? I don't see any hands up. As Rothis will take his time. I uh, don't want to be doing that too much at this time. We have 440 remaining in this final. And as blocked by Pizzo. And he tried to get it to Bergner, but he wasn't ready. But they're going to let him play on. As Brendan Rothis will take it behind his net. The clock, the clock is stuck. Hey, the, Craig, we got clock problems. Uh, and the clock. We got a technical malfunction with the clock. It's stuck at 4.43. For now, they're playing on. So what do you do in this situation when we have a technical malfunction? And now they finally blow dead as we have a technical, we have a technical malfunction with the clock. The clock is stuck at 4.43. So they're going to just take it to center. Yeah, I counted down once I noticed it. I just didn't want to stop. So we're gonna have a little delay while we fix the um, the issue. But the Firebirds have had control all game long. So far, the goal's coming from Todd and Pizzo. They're getting ready to do the draw, but the clock isn't ready yet.
We're still working on the technical problems and So, so now, so because that we have a problem with the scoreboard, uh, we're going to have to use the backup clock. So, <laughs> See, our scorekeeper is bringing out the phone and putting the timer on. So, All right. Uh, now, we've had issues with this clock before, but we've never had to bring out a phone. Uh, I'll do every 30 seconds, okay? And we will get underway with, with our backup clock. So he'll be up to our scorekeeper to, go, 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 go. to keep track of this. <laughs> this has never happened before. Never have we ever had to bring out a backup clock for a tournament. But it's going to be Rafis over to Bliss and Kolschny. And they call out four minutes. Back the other way. And remember, it's still a 2 nothing game saved by Diaz. Behind the net, Firebird still with a 2 nothing lead. Malstrom trying to look for a bat, but it is going to be outside the net into the corner. Back the other way, Mark Kolschny looking at Rafis. Deeks around, but it's going to get to Gleason first. Glove down. Oh, he is checked. No call, though. Everyone stopped for a moment. None of the hands had raised. Wow. And it's going to be Todd. And Malstrom goes over to Rose. Found nobody, and it's going to be uh, the other way. Mark Kolschny. Trying to go around Rolfus, unable. Three minutes. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> With our scorekeeper shouting out the time. Here is Rose. Shot wide the net. Another chance saved by Diaz. And it's going to be back to James Todd for the Firebirds, and it's going to be out over to Rafis. Rafis. Out to Zali. Poke check from Ryan Bergner. Yeah, open chance and a save. Rebound covered. Bergner will go from the corner, off the outside of the net. Colchin, trying to find someone. Oh, again, he scores! That took a weird bounce, and the Firebirds go up 3-0. Two minutes. I could tell. And back it goes over to Kaplan. Tries to throw it in, went off from... Oh, nearly stolen, it's going to be back over to Azali. Trying to look for Maelstrom, but nobody there. It's going to be back over to Bra Brandon Rothfuss. A shot saved by Diaz, it comes loose, but he holds on. This has been an interesting final. A shot that is blocked, getting double teamed. Close up from Maelstrom, that's blocked. And it's cleared out, and it's going to be an icing. But the clock will continue to run, and Jesters have control. As Rafis will take control, as we are nearing the one minute mark, we're just hit. <laughs> yep, there is the one minute mark. Ah, uh, close. Maelstrom, and Diaz gloves it down. Maelstrom. Back over to Chaplin. From the looks of it, it looks like the Firebirds are going to be our A-Division champions. Open net, trying to knock it away. 
Maelstrom with another chance. That's blocked. Rothis. Shot. Diaz with a save. Rothis trying to go. And it's going to be a two on no breakaway. Mark Kolschny. Backhand. Saved by Gleason. And take it out. David Bliss tries to set her up. 15 seconds remaining. The Firebirds are going to become our A Division Ironman champions as they'll head back to Charlotte. I'm sure the boys back in Charlotte will be happy no matter who won this one, but the Firebirds are the A Division Ironman champions. This has been an interesting final. Both Charlotte's teams have had it and they will come away. Where do you want us, A, right? a division Ironman champions as they'll head over to the scoreboard. <laughs> I wish we had the thing working, but I think they will turn it on. I think it was three. So they are just working to try to get that scoreboard working. Yeah, take a pick when you uh, mind just taking a quick one. No, we won They're still trying to get that scoreboard working, but the Firebirds comprising of Mark Kolpsney, David Bliss, Brian Bergner, James Todd, Thomas Pisa, and Ryan Diaz. So they'll get the photo and we'll find out who the MVP yeah, yeah. is. So who's James? James Todd has been selected as the MVP of the A Division. The C Division. Uh, so now, they, now they get the scoreboard working. Now they get the scoreboard working and then we, now we can. So now we can take a proper photo as the Firebirds will head back to Charlotte. <laughs> so that is RC Division. Don't forget we have our other two divisions, the A and B divisions. Don't forget to check those out. But for all of us here at XL Sports World and the RSA Channel, this is Jamie Wilson. We'll see you next time around. The RSHL is supported by AllBlackHockeySticks.com. The stick of choice for many players of the RSHL is a very light and durable stick for only $89. AllBlackHockeySticks.com